Hello everyone, welcome back to Touching Grass. Um, so, last video, we arrived just here, Mount St Bernard's Abbey. Um, so I found the next thing on the trail, just here, we're there. Um, now it says to go that way. Now that doesn't really fucking look like a path to me. However, I'm going to trust it, I'm going to go that way. The next point of interest, I believe, is Black Brook Reservoir, of which the Black Brook Beauty Trail is named. Oh, look at these pretty flowers. Oh, they're very pretty. Don't know what they are, but they're very pretty. They're probably crocuses. <gasps> Almost dropped my phone. Uh, yeah, most likely crocuses. Anyway, uh, getting sidetracked. That way, Black Brook Reservoir. Um, just a reservoir. I mean, a little bit of history there, right? There was a... They, they did flood once, like back in the fucking buttfuck 1800s or something. Uh, and it flooded out the, the near, nearby town of Loughborough. There are some incredible views. Yeah, some gorgeous views on this trail. I really do implore you to come and do it. If you're in the area or if you're local, do the trail, man. Like, it's a, it's a great piece of... Uh, well, it's just a great, it's a great track to, to explore. Uh, you know, there's a lot of history, so much so that I've had to cut this video into multiple parts. Um, I'm not sure this is the way that said this way. Fucking... Hmm. Mass confusion will consult map. BRB. Yeah, as I suspected, that, uh... This, this path is no longer a path. That, that must be um, an old marker. I do know this is quite an old trail. I'm not even sure if it's still an official trail anymore. I did do some digging to find the uh, the leaflet for it. I'll say for did some digging, I didn't really, but as I recall, it wasn't really that easy to find on the website. I don't remember completely how I found out about this. Um, I've been planning it for a while. Uh, I was just waiting until my leg was better. So yeah, that, that might be an old marker. If you do this and you see uh, uh, well, you see this stretch here, and it tells you to go down that way. Don't bother, just follow the road, because you're going to come out to a road at the end of there anyway. So follow the road, and uh, don't waste your breath like I did. Oh, it's sake, man. Close, you bastard. Right. So yeah, if you see this, that's the Black Brook Beauty signpost saying go that way, don't. Follow the road down turn right at the end. Uh, some of the views we get here are outstanding. Again, the camera doesn't do it justice. But you're going to see for miles. See for miles and miles. So, uh, one of the great things about Charmwood is, is that there's those views like I was just, uh, you know, having a spaz over. Uh, the reason we have some of these most, some of these gorgeous views, um, and indeed, the reason we have uh, so much, so many old rock formations, uh, igneous rock, I should say. We do have some sandstone as well, but uh, a lot of the outcrops are igneous. Right, folks, uh, I'm in the edit, and uh, that's incorrect. So I got some information recently about um, another video I'm doing. Asked for some uh, some research material from uh, from an organisation. Um, so more specifically, this, this area where I'm in at the moment, um, it is on a volcano. It is an extinct volcano in this particular area. Around Whittock and Thringston is where the volcano used to be. Um, however, surrounding it, there's uh, lots of sandstone from an ocean that was surrounding this volcano. Um, so yeah, didn't want to contribute to misinformation. Uh, turns out I did in my last video as well, but I've put a correction in the comments there. Uh, just thought I should let you know that yes, it's igneous, that's very old, and also sandstone, that's very, very old, because volcano, see, you get on, you, know, you can figure it out. Anyway, back to the video, bye! But yeah, so we're, we're a wet upland, extinct volcano caldera. Uh, the highest point in Leicestershire is Barden Hill. Um, we're not super close to Barden Hill, but we're, you know, in, in the grand scheme yeah it's it's you know it's not far away at all um we have some of the highest elevation um in the in the in the general area i can't think of the words i'm sorry i have just tried to film this bit 
walked about five minutes down that way and realized I hadn't actually hit record. So sorry if I'm out of breath and I'm having trouble thinking, but I've, I've walked all the way back up just to get that view and just talk a bit about the rocks again. <laughs> I know, I know it's a new video so I can talk about rocks some more. Uh, well, that's not really talking about rocks. A bit about the geology of the area, I guess, or the geological history. I'm not a geologist. I'm amateur at best when it comes to uh, geology and stuff and pa paleontology. I find it really interesting, but I find a lot of stuff interesting. So it's hard to, to get really, really stuck into absolutely everything that the kind of captivates my interest. Um, however, that that view that captivates my interest. So what I'm gonna do now. So I'm going to head down there and our next stop is Black Brook Reservoir uh, which is, oh my god my ring's wonky, there's no balls in it because I had to take them out. You may remember on the Kinder Scout one I lost one of the balls on my nose ring, I haven't been able to replace it. Anyway, Black Brook Beauty, review that beer and then uh, we'll uh, carry on. Right, here we are folks, this is Black Brook Reservoir. I'm trying to be a bit quiet, there's a school group just behind me. I think it was kind of cringed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't want to get picks on. But yeah, here we are, this is Black Brook Reservoir. Uh, I don't know much about this, I'm going to do some research when I get home. I'm probably putting a little cutaway with some information. So that feels like a lovely place to stop and have a beer. There is a buzzard around there somewhere as well. I can't see him and hearing him ages now, or her. Uh, anyway, that school group's gone. So <laughs> let's uh, Tint Meadow. I'm really glad it's not called Taint Meadow. Uh, focus. Go on, lad. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. English Trappist Ale. Strong ale to brew by the, brewed by the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey Charmwood Forest. 7.4%. Those monks don't fuck around, do they? So. With this beer, sorry. With this beer, we have returned to the 19th century tra tradition. Oh, it's focus, dude of brewing in our abbey. When our brethren arrived in 1835, they settled in a poor cottage on Tint Meadow, now an extension of our mon monastic, en monastic enclosure. There you go, there's all the ingredients in the doobly-doo, if you wanna have a look, see at that. Uh, right, without further ado, I'm gonna crack this open and, and have a brew. I don't know what time it is, but I don't really care, because uh, it's my day off, so. Yeah. I don't have a bottle opener, so found this handy dandy pipe. Oof. You, you bastard, almost fell over. Come on, lad. Ah, that hurts. Right, hold on. Time to bring out the big gun. Oh, shit. And I have deployed the tosser mug. So, it's half past 11 in the morning. And I'm about to drink a seven and a half percent beer out of a enamel mug. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh Christ almighty. That is strong. Good Lord. Do I need to adjust my nose ring? Yeah, I do a bit. Yeah, that is a, that is a, an aggressive, aggressive ale. I mean, it's lovely. I, I, I very much like strong ales. I 
Yeah, it's got a bit of hop, a bit of hop to it. Hold on, hold on, where's my other camera? That's a buzzard. Two, three, four. <gasps> oh my God. <sighs> Look at that. It's not often, not often you get treated to something like that. I've only once before seen four buzzards circling like that. That's so cool. Ah, oh, I get to enjoy it with a beer. Even better. Oh, fantastic. Sorry, <laughs> I got a bit distracted there. Um, but rightfully so, I mean, you know, one minute you're filming a bit about beer and then four buzzers just turn up. And they're still up there. I'm really disappointed they're not calling. One day I'll have a camera to do that justice. Anyway, back to this ale. It's delicious. Uh, yeah, Tint Meadow, highly recommend. If you like a good strong ale, uh, yeah, I can I can recommend it. It's uh, it's got a bit of citrus to it, but it's very it's mostly hops. It's very hoppy. Assuming I know what I'm talking about with beer, I probably don't. All I know is I enjoy drinking it. Right. Well. I'm all done with my brew. Uh, I think MVP of the video is going to this. This is just uh, an ordnance survey kind of seating mat that uh, I got at a brand event. Uh, really cool if it's for Sorkum. Don't know where the hell that is. Anyway, uh, I sat on the grass and I am dry. So, MVP, GG. Here we are then, Black Brook Reservoir. Black Brook Reservoir is an 83 acre biological site of special scientific interest after which the Black Brook Beauty Trail is named. The reservoir was constructed in 1796 in order to feed the Charnwood Forest Canal which has long since vanished. The first dam constructed was an earthworks one and this failed on the 20th of February 1799 with disastrous consequences. In 11 minutes, the reservoir was empty, and as a result, local farmland was ruined, sheep were drowned, and much of Shepshed and nearby Loughborough were affected by floodwaters. The dam was repaired in 1801, but the canal was no longer commercially viable. The present gravity dam was constructed in 1906 and was officially opened by the first mayor of Loughborough, Joseph Griggs. In 1957, the dam felt the effects of a magnitude 5.3 earthquake, the tremors caused heavy coping stones to shift and cracks appeared in the faces of the dam. The reservoir has a plant community on its margins which is unique in the Midlands and only found in a few northern sites. Its unusual mix of flora includes Juncus filiformis at its most southern locations and the lake itself has native white-clawed crayfish where it is isolated from the invasive American signal crayfish. Right then folks, I've just come out of Black Brook Reservoir which is just over there. So I'm walking along a road now. I'm just about to cross it. I'm going into a small tract of woodland by the looks of it. A small tract of woodland by the looks of it. Uh, and then we'll be coming out on this road again. However, I'll take a bit of extra woodland walking over walking on the road any day. So, oh, what's this? Oh, cool. Oh, so we're supposed to be anyway. Wicked. So, Blackbird Beast Trail Marker. So it's uh yeah, I did say this way. So it's this way. I thought it was gonna be going through this woodland a bit, because that's what the map actually says. However, it's yeah, I guess it's this way. Uh so next stop now is um 
Swanee Moat Rocks. Uh, now I know a little bit about Swanee Moat Rocks. Um, however, there's a lot I don't know, so I'll just leave voice over Cody to uh, tell you a bit about Swanee Moat Rocks. When we're there, anyway. Hmm. So yeah, I was just walking on that dirt path. I said the next part was going to be the voiceover, but it's not. Because I was walking on that dirt path. And look at this picturesque little oasis. I say picturesque, the water is muddy as shit, but look at that willow! <sighs> wow. Right next to an A road. A road? B road? It's a road anyway. Look at that. Shame there's no uh, waterfowl here really. Or a heron maybe. Yeah, how lovely. In fact, I might stop here for a little coffee. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. The Tassamark has been deployed. Who yeah, could blame me? Look at this. It's hearing about the road noise, but I can think of much worse places to have a coffee. <laughs> And honestly, that's <laughs> that's one thing I really can recommend to do. If you don't already, just take a flask of coffee out. You can get a cheap flask for about ten pounds. Just take some coffee out, and when you come upon gorgeous places like this, you can just stop and <laughs> have yourself a brew. <sighs> Sit and just enjoy being out. Go away, car! Peace, love, kindness, nature. Bye bye. If you do this trail, be warned there is a busy, busy road. I say busy, busy, it's not busy, busy, but you know there's, you're walking on verge, cars are speeding down from there, there is a crest, it's quite crested as well. So, uh, yeah, if you do this trail, please take care on the busier roads. Um, there's no really, no, no, alter, no alternative way around, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm on this little trail just off the road. Uh, maybe I'll mark it on the map, maybe I won't. Uh, but it's just like, I think the way I describe Charnwood Forest is like a smaller scale peak district like i see this kind of stuff in the peaks except the hills are bigger you know um it's just gorgeous and there's a shade there's pretty much always the sound of the road wherever you go but uh if you can block that out it really is an absolutely gorgeous area just to go and explore so uh yeah, I'm not sure we're anywhere close to Swanee Moat Rocks yet. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Look at that tree. Gorgeous silhouette. Right, a little update. Um, so, Swanee Moat Rocks are a lot further than I thought they were going to be. I'm still going, however, I've just fucking walked through loads of farmer field and road. And it's ruined my legs. So I've found this very, very handy bench. So I'm gonna sit, have a rest, then I've got to continue on down. You can't really see it, but down, there's a road down there. So I've got to go down that road and then I'll cut into Swanee Moat, Swanee Moat Woods. Um, and then uh, Swanee Moat Rock. So I'm not sure if I've left the clips in earlier. Well, I'm saying, oh, Swanee Moat Rocks, Swanee Moat, you know, I'm going to do voiceover. Well, you've probably noticed that voiceover's taken a fucking while. <laughs> and that's because uh, there's a large distance, a couple of, two or three miles between um, Blackbrook and the ruins. Not the ruins, the, the rocks. Um, right, I'm going into brain fart mode, so I'm going to have some water, finish off my coffee. 
because uh, sw once I've done Swanee Moat Rock, it's uh, we pretty much meet back onto the uh, to where I started. So that will be the last segment, and then I can then I'll be going home. So I'll sp I don't know what's going to be next. It might be the rocks. It might be more road. It might be me just waffle on about absolutely nothing. Whatever it is, I'll see you then. Yeah, hey, mate. Have a look at that, my lad. Can I zoom on this camera? No, I can't. Of course, I can't. He'll fucking have you. He's staring me right down. He does not like me. Ooh. Better not piss him off. Oh, so majestic. Very, very pretty. Yes, you are. You're gorgeous. But I'm not going to interfere with you, buddy, because uh, I don't want to piss your owner off, all right? But you are beautiful, and I would die for you. Hey, folks, we're in Swanee Moat Wood, just around this corner. We have the Swanee Moat Rocks. I'll, uh, I'll get a bit closer. And there we are, Swanee Moat Rocks. Now, finally. Without further ado, it's voiceover Cody with information about the Swanee Moat Rock Formation. While being just as geologically interesting as the rest of the crops in the forest, these rocks are also steeped in anthropological history. A Swain Moat, from which we get the word Swanee Moat, was a local court held before the verderers of the forest as judges by the steward of the court three times every year with the Swains, or freeholders, within the forest composing the jury to inquire into all offences committed against vert and venison or tree and deer, with this rocky outcrop believed to have been the Swain Moat for the area. Well then folks, with that, the job is done, the quest is completed, the mission is over. I'm about to meet up where I uh, started the trail in the first place. So I want to thank you very, very much for sticking around with me, rambling, literally, and in the, uh, you know, rambling around kind of way. Uh, I hope you found this all interesting. I hope it inspires you to come out and experience some Charmwood Forest for yourself. Uh, yeah, nothing much else to say. And love you, leave you. Take care. See you in a bit. Just got back. My legs are dead. Send help.